Welcome back to the shop. Um, sitting down on the job today because I uh, got a new material in here that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. It's called wood. <laughs> Don't typically do wood stuff in my garage, but uh, today we're going to. Uh, this bench, um, my daughter and her husband bought a house uh, five or six years ago that had a strange HVAC return uh, near the entry of the house. It came out of the wall at an angle and she hated it and she asked me if I could uh, build a bench to fit in front of it. And so I built up this, this metal frame for a bench and she said she had the wood. So her and her husband stained up this one by eight and attached it, painted the frame and put it in their house. And then about a year and a half ago, they sold the house and moved closer to home and we were helping them clean and move and my daughter said she didn't have a use for this so she was just going to leave it because it fit really good over that HVAC return but my wife said your dad made that so you're not going to leave it and it ended up in our house so today I'm going to do some changes to it I'm going to put a different top on it a single piece of wood and I'm going to use the arc droid to cut out uh, our last name and attach that to the top of it and we're gonna put a shelf in the bottom for our shoes. But so that's the project for today. And if everything went really, really well, here's a little uh, hint or whatever preview of the results right here. So hopefully what you're seeing is a, a bench with the logo on the top of it or our name on the top of it and a different wood, but um, if everything went well, well, we'll find out. I'll find out. You already know, but I'll find out if it went well. And uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, we're going to start with the fun stuff. I got the arc droid out and it's all set up to cut the, my family name. And I can show you that real quick. Drew that up on Inkscape and pulled it into sheet cam and got it all set up. Loaded it here. There's the settings. Basic settings for, that I use for 16 gauge. I've already ran the dry run without the torch. So don't expect any surprises, but what you suspect and what you get sometimes are different. Fire up the torch, 30 amps, and activate it, and let's see what it does. Okay, so I cut out the, uh, the name emblem and, and I'll attach that to the top. I'll clean it up and uh, paint it and then we'll attach it to the top. So we'll get into that later. But I also need um, some tabs to attach the bottom shelf to this, to this uh, bench. So I got some little one inch tombstone shaped tabs that I'm going to cut out right here and we'll just do that right now 
There's the first one. So there's the uh, Terry cutout and the tombstones, and uh, let's get them cleaned up. All right. So just as a preview for what I'm thinking, this is a box store. It's going to be the bench seat. It's a one by 16 by uh, 36, so three feet. And this is what I cut out. It's gonna sit on here. It's got a little bit of a oil can to it, but when I attach it, it'll be fine. It's actually ideal because I'm gonna have a, two screws in these big points here. And screw it on right there. Um, yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Here's the tombstones. No one's gonna see those, but they are to go on the bottom of the frame and attach the well, the bottom shelf for shoes. Okay, so I put the arc droid away and uh, got the bench up here on the welding table. Got a little bit of welding to do. I got to put the the four tabs on here for the bottom shelf, and uh, I'm gonna to mount the name. I'm going to drill holes. Put a screw in there and drill, drill it from the front and then sand it off so you can't see it and then that'll mount through the wood so that's how we'll mount it so that that'll be another little bit of welding not much so um, anyway first step is take the old wood off Test fit it. Sit it down on there. I mean, remember, this is doing nothing but holding this nameplate on. No structural or anything like that. Just needs to be holding, hold it tight enough that it doesn't come off when someone sits down or slides across it or whatever.
there you go. Ground it all flat. Got the mounting studs on it, so that's how it'll go on there. All right, so another loud tool that I don't use very often. I've got a, my router out and I've got a little quarter inch round over bit and I'm just gonna round over the edge real quick just to take the edge off it. I still have to sand everything, but it just seems like the right thing to do since everybody's gonna be sitting on that one want to snag clothes or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'll show you the edges. Again, I'm no master woodworker or master anything. No woodworker at all, but I think it looks better with the edges rounded over. Still have to sand everything lightly and then uh, get some color on it and seal it, but uh, that's what it's looking like. Okay, so I'm getting ready to sand the uh, queso. Okay, there we go again. Getting ready to sand the top, the bench top, and uh, the uh, shelf that going under the slats for the shelf that goes underneath. But I just got 220 grit paper on this uh, Harbor Freight Bauer dual action sander. It was like 35 bucks or 30 bucks. I don't know. I've had it for quite some time, and that thing's pretty awesome. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now: sand this thing down. Okay, so I ripped you off a little bit, or I saved you from boring a little bit, but I got the first coat of uh, finish on the wood. It's um, Minwax Poly Shades. Just an old can. I mean, the can's even crushed. That I had from some other project. I don't know. No sense spending money on finish when you have some. It looks decent. Um, stirred it up and put it on. I'll go with that. Um, once this dries, I'll give it a light sanding and I'll do a second coat probably. Bring you guys back after I do that. But the other thing I did, whoops, is I used this Rust-Oleum hammered finish, brown paint there, for the metal parts. So yeah, there's the, the wood with some finish on it. And I don't know if you can see that hammered look of this paint but anyway so that's painted that and maybe you can see it better on here hammered texture and all our junk behind it but uh yeah so that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna take a break and i'll come back out probably tomorrow and put another coat on everything and then get it assembled as soon as it's dry and I'll probably, I might bring you back between coats, but um, probably bring you back once it's fully assembled and see what it looks like. All right, so we'll end this one the way it started, me sitting on my butt on this little uh, entry bench uh, that we, I cobbled together several years back and uh, just updated. Uh, pretty, pretty pleased with how it came out. Got our name on the top of it now, a uh, different seat, and added some of these runners down on the bottom to put some shoes on. I think my wife will be pleased with it. Uh, anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, if you want to support the channel, um, please go out to the store, 6.8 liter store. Um, you can pick up some of the drawings that I've done, arc droid specific uh, cut files, um, merchandise, hats, shirts, coffee cups, whatever. It all helps me uh, afford to do this. It supports my hobby, my habit. Um, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.